Pete Smith, um, could I ask you a question? If you were fortunate enough to be elected on uh, Friday, as anybody would be fortunate to be elected, uh, particularly in this constituency, can you tell me one uh, practical, achievable thing that you could do in the European Parliament that would have a, a measurable impact effect on uh, the people of Dublin? Yeah, I, I think that if I was brought to the European Parliament, there's a number of environmental issues I'd be very interested in chasing up, need, least of all to say the role of the EPA in this country and the waste management services that are delivered, because I have a lot of question marks over them as a local councillor, and I would get stuck into investigating that. But I do have to say that Avon comes across all the time as so believable and respectable and genuine. He was really believable before the last election. I remember being really impressed with him. But look where it brought us to. And look what it did to the people of Mayo. I marched alongside Eamon up in Eris against the sell off our, our natural resources to the great oil company Shell. And as soon as he got into the position of Minister for Energy, he turned his back on the people of Mayo and stabbed them in the back. Yeah, we're, we're really why, still for time, Greg, so we're trying not to attack you. Why should we believe him in that case? Because, excuse me, I, 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 I have hardly spoken. I have hardly spoken. I've hardly spoken, so I think I should get my say in this. I think if people, in this election, anyway. if people in this election feel that they have no stake in the system, they should think twice and give the government parties a good kicking and vote for people like me who are going to campaign okay. to okay, mobilise okay, okay, and to fight I'm, I'm and to be I, on the picket I, line with the Aer Lingus okay, workers on Friday week and to stand up for working people.